Ahoy hoy everyone. Welcome to another episode of The O Show. I'm O and I'm here for your amusement. Okay, so like, as you can see, I am back in my lounge room. Still trying to figure out the lighting up in here, but whatever. Um, but, what does that mean? It means it is time for another segment that I like to call... I don't like to call it this because I should have named it something shorter. But it is called, um, wait, hold on. It's called O's Favorite Mariah Carey Album Countdown Eleganza Extravaganza. <laughs> Yay. Oh, thank you, guys. So, this is... What I just said, um, where I count down my personal favorite Mariah Carey albums. And uh, this list was super hard to put together. It took me like 15 minutes. <laughs> um, but, if I'm not mistaken, this is number 11 on the countdown. And coming in at number 11... It is the... Where am I putting these pictures at? I don't know. Um, Memoirs of an Imperfect Angel. You guys remember this album? Oh, there's the back. I don't know if you can see the song listings. Oh, there they go. And there's some, there's a, a, a another disc in here with remixes to the Obsessed album. I mean, single. <laughs> this is also a drunk review, you guys. I've been drinking like all night. Okay, so look. Ooh, look at this. Like a little, little booklet inside. I can't, wait, I can't flip it backwards. Wait, hold on. Anyway. If you know, you know. <laughs> Okay, so look at you guys, like, so Memoirs of the Perfect Angel came out in 2009. It is Mariah's 12th studio album. Yes. Talk among yourselves while I check my notes. Yes, it is her 12th studio album and it peaked on the billboard charts at number three you guys come on y'all could have done better um but you know i do i do put this at number 11 it is kind of low and this is kind of along the lines of the last album that i ranked which was the me i am mariah right me and mariah and then memoirs is next so I like Matt Morris because there are some there some fun tracks on this album. Um, I do remember a lot of days where I was actually working at the um, Allstate Arena in Rosemont, Illinois. If you're from Chicago, you're familiar with the Allstate. And I was a little, I was a little usher that stood at the door. Well, no, I didn't stand at the door. Well, some days I did. But most of the time, I was at the curtain on, on certain um, sections. Why y'all kept coming in and flinging doors open and shit. And you know what? That's a whole nother video. I would, That's an old file video for sure. Let me tell you what people be doing at the at concerts. But, um, no. This was the time I was working a full-time job. And then I was, I was trying to make, like, extra money. So I was working part-time at the Allstate as an usher. And I remember that I would just put this album on my car. And, like, to and from both jobs. I would just jam out. To some Mariah. Um, but in the same fashion as the last album. Not as much as the last album though. I did find myself like skipping some tracks. So I can't say it's like one of my favorite albums. Because there's some songs I learned. I, I know the songs. But I kind of I kind of didn't want to hear. <laughs> so let's begin with the track listing. Right? Oh, Jesus. Why do I do this to myself? Alright, let's see. So, okay, now hold on. 
Okay, now look. Now the album starts off with Bet You Gonna Know, right? And kind of similar as I was saying to um, the opening of Me, I Am Mariah, the elusive Chanteuse. Like she starts the, the album out with like this weird like slow jam. So you're just kind of like, oh, okay, we're getting into it, we're, we're doing it, okay, we're getting along, right? And, I didn't mention on this one because it's, I mean, this this had the original song, oh, this is going to be a, this is going to be a hard video. Look, y'all, so, Bet You Gonna Know is the first track on this, this album, right? But then, when you come to the Me, I Am Mariah... She did the bet you gonna know with the, with R. Kelly. Okay, ooh, R. Kelly alert. Like, we can't have that no more. But what's so crazy is that we get the song on here, and I appreciated the song on this album. But then when you get to here, and this is what, 2009, I said, and this is 2014. Why are there all these, like, years in between, and then you bring up the same song from this album and put it on here? With R. Kelly. Okay. So, like, I feel like we didn't need that. <sighs> Mariah. That's why this... That's why this album was number 12. Okay, go watch that video. It's funny. That's what I've heard. So, uh... Okay, so. Number two. Obsessed. Why are you so obsessed with me? But I wanna know. Okay. Like, that is a fun video. That's when everyone was like, oh my gosh, she's dressed up as Eminem. And then she's like, I'm not Eminem. And people were like, yes, girl, you were Eminem. And she was like, no, I'm not Eminem. And they were like, yes, girl, you are Eminem. So, Obsessed. We love Obsessed. I will listen to that song over and over again. And then number three, we got H-A-T-E-U, uh, a.k.a. Hate You, a.k.a. Having a temporary emotional upset. Okay. <laughs> and I used to have uh, temporary emotional upsets at my job when this song came out. And I used an excuse every time I had an issue with somebody. <laughs> and they were like, and I would write hate you. And then I would like dot it so they couldn't take me to HR. And then if someone was to ask, I'd be quick to be like, uh, that's a Mariah song. Like, calm down. But, um... You guys remember the video for this song? Like, she's on the beach, and the video was really boring, though. Like, she's just walking around, like, in a swimsuit on the beach, looking all glamorous and stuff. It had nothing to do with the song. <laughs> I'll still watch it, but, um, it's a cute song. It's cute, you guys. Alright, after that, we got Candy Bling and Ribbon and, uh, Inseparable. Candy Bling is cute. Remember, this is when, like, she was still with Nick Cannon. And she was singing about their love. <laughs> uh, that's all I'll say about that. Do you guys remember the song, like, Ribbon? Oh, oh, wrapped up ribbon with a bow on it. You got my love and I'm a mine. Rap, wait, this ribbon don't even fit. And then we have um, Inseparable, and uh, it's cute. I know the song, but skip. <laughs> Number seven on the album is Standing Oh. Oh, 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 here you're standing no oh. Yes. She's giving standing ovations to this dude who cheated on her. It was a dick, but uh, she made a song out of it, and uh, we I'm, I'm all about it. So, Standing O, which I think I used in an earlier video. I don't remember. Standing O, I think I did use on another video that was really good. I don't remember what it is. Anyway, Standing O. It's a fun, fun song on this album. Okay, so and then just like with the opening song on this album, and then what she did on this album. Whoops, wait, hold on. Um, 
So there's a song on here. It's a rap. It's a rap for you, baby. Right? It's like a whole, like, soap opera. And then, that's the one I was talking about this album that she did with, like, Mary J. Blige. So, again, 2009, 2014. Did we need to bring this song back to here and then put Mary J. Blige on it? I mean, again, you know, we love us some Mary, but, um, I feel like the song is done. Like, what am I paying for? <laughs> Okay, look at it. Look at it, look at it. Shh. Look at it, look. So the next uh, song on this album is Up Up My Face, Boy. Up Up My Face, Boy. Up Up My Face. And if you ever saw the video, it's with her and Nicki Minaj, right? But then, like, remember when Mariah and Nicki were on that season of American Idol? And it's so weird because you watch this video and her and, and Nicki are... Like, I mean, I'm not going to say they're best friends or anything like that. But they did this video together. And I'm like, oh, okay. Look at the singing world and the rapping world, like, joining forces. And then when they were on um, American Idol, like, they just hate each other. <laughs> and <laughs> that was, like, the best ratings ever. It was really scary. But, girl, what happened behind the scenes with that? Mm-hmm. All right, up, up my face, boy. Okay, so then after that, there was a reprise of that song, right? I can't see. Yes, there was a reprise. And then she has the song More Than Just Friends. More Than Just Friends. Is that the song? More Than Just Friends. I think it is. I think it is. Um... What are you looking at? <laughs> this dog is judging me. She's in all my videos. Anyway, um, the impossible. The impossible is cute, but you know sometimes at the end of the day, uh, skip. <laughs> uh, it's all right. And then, and then the impossible reprises on here too. Um, oh my God, you guys. They begin to angel. So. The Angel interlude? It's a re... No, it's not. It's a prelude. Prelude. You know, this album's like math. Like, it's math so hard. So, there's a prelude to the single Angel. And then, she sings it solo on here. But when you watch the video, she collaborates with Neo. And it's super, super cute. I love Angel. Oh, I love it so much. Um... That's really that's that's a really cute song. I really really do love Angels uh, Cry. <laughs> Angels Cry uh, is a song. Language Sheen, uh, you know it's all right. I skip. <laughs> and then the album concludes with uh, Mariah's version of "I Want to Know What Love Is." I want to know what love is. Do 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 do. Yes, like, who doesn't love, I don't know what love is, that's a really, really good song. Now, again, just kind of like her remake of One More Try on this album, do we need it? Well, okay, you know what, I will say, unlike One More Try, I want to know, I want to know what love is. You don't hear a lot of people redoing that song, so I'm gonna say it was cute. The video was cute. I remember the video. The video was was it Oprah or was it someone else's talk show? Like Mariah was at someone's talk show and she surprised a fan in the audience. And this kind of sounds like Oprah. The more I talk, but she was like, "Oh my God! Like I am filming a video. Like come be in the video, audience member." And uh, that's what happened. And so this person in the audience on this talk show that she was promoting the single, Oprah, it's probably not Oprah Watch. Um, yeah, they got to be in the video. So when the video came out, I was like, oh my god, there's that guy from the TV show. And the TV show, I think it's Oprah. <laughs> and he was in it. So, 
It's cute. It's I actually probably prefer this song over uh what I say? That other song I was talking about. Um but other than that, like yeah, that is the album, you guys. Like that is the memoirs of an imperfect angel. Like, do you guys wait? Can you see the there it is track listing? And then again, there's a second disc in here, which is um, why do I never turn my phone down? Um, it's really cute too. Like she was bringing back the curls from her original album, and she was repro. Wait, hold on, this hand. She was redoing like her look from the first album there and it's cute. It's a cutie tootie rooty fruity um <laughs> album. Okay, so look. So you guys like what do you think? Do you agree, disagree? Do you like memoirs of an imperfect angel? Again, this is my personal list. Uh there is a lot more to come. So I hope you guys stick around for the rest of the countdown. And beer. Yes, beer. Alright, so let me know your thoughts of uh, memoirs of the perfect angel. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. And I will catch you all on the next entry of O's favorite... Did I say cheers? Cheers. Oh my god, I gotta film ten more of these things. <laughs> Alright, um... What's that thing? Please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you... I already said that. Alright, you know what? Bye.